At this point in time, my life was a mess. I was 28 years old and I had no clue where I was going. I had crazy low self-esteem, didn't seem to be able to get my love life going for me. I was single and very unhappy. And I decided I need help. So I ended up seeing a psychologist, which by the way for me back then was a huge step. One of the very first times I was there, he asked me, uh, Michael, um, do you dream at night and uh, what do you dream about? And I was like, huh? Dreams? You know, come on. I'm sitting here, I'm having a hard time. Why on earth do you want to talk to me about my dreams? I don't dream and dreams are just a lot of mumbo jumbo, aren't they? But I felt miserable and I decided for myself, hey, if this whole crazy idea about, you know, trying to recall my dreams, trying to understand them, if that could be my way out of misery, I'll give it a shot. I found myself walking around for two days, desperately saying to myself, I want to recall my dreams. I want to recall my dreams. And by the way, you know, we all dream two hours each night. And when we tend to say we never dream, then it would be more correct to say that you can never recall your dreams or I can never recall my dreams because we do actually dream. After two days of walking around saying I want to recall my dreams, I woke up with elements of a dream fresh in mind. To me, that was a huge revelation. Wow, I actually do dream and just by showing my dreams an interest, I can actually suddenly recall them. That was a huge thing for me, you know, trained at you know, business school, working for many years within sales and marketing, consider myself to be a rational man, all that stuff. I do dream there's actually something in there. The bigger revelation, however, came when I started working with my dreams, started trying to understand how they actually portray, you know, what's truly going on inside me. I want to share with you a dream that made it very clear to me what, was, what I was up against. <clears throat> At some point in my life, after having you know, seen the psychologist for quite some time. I was walking around once again feeling sad, feeling unresolved, feeling I had a lot more to give to the world. Maybe you could sometimes recognize that feeling, at least, you know, for us human beings, it's natural to sometimes now and then to have these lows if you want to walk around not feeling too confident about the whole situation. Anyone out here ever felt like that? Well, <clears throat> I felt like that at that point in time. I also have this growing feeling of how I wanted to share this whole dream thing with the world because you know when I in first time had that revelation that I just told you about I really felt like wow why aren't more people doing this I wanted to share that message with the world but I definitely didn't dare to but I didn't really know you know what, what I was up against why it was so hard for me to just start doing that and then during a period where I felt like that I had this dream I see a huge crowd of maybe a thousand people that is, you know, these people are totally alike, they are totally, they are all grey, faceless, huge crowd, look totally the same. In the middle of that crowd, I see a red man, a very red man. What you see here is a drawing of that dream. The man was trying to really hide himself in the crowd, trying and fighting hard not to stand out, really trying to fit in. The major feeling in that dream, of course, was that that man was me. I suddenly understood what was actually going on inside me. I suddenly clearly saw how my experience of being bullied in primary school had actually left bigger scars in me than I actually thought. Most of my life, I had been trying to fit in. I had been trying hard not to stand out. That dream made it very clear that, you know, Michael, no matter what you do, you will always stand out. You can never fit in because you are alarmingly red. You're you, in other words. The dream said, I can only be me. I can only be Michael. The, you know, this, this Michael, <laughs> there are many Michaels out there. I can only be me. Just like you can only be you. Trying to be someone else, trying to fit in, is a lost battle. And it's a battle that leads to depression, burnout, and low self-esteem. 